Good evening, and this is Thai PBS World Daily. Typhoon Noru is expected to make landfall in central Vietnam tomorrow and then weaken to a tropical storm as it moves through Laos and into Thailand's Won Rajatani and Amnajaran provinces on Thursday. The meteorological department said the storm will weaken further as it moves through the northeastern region, the central plains and the northern part of Thailand. This will bring heavy rain to Ubon Rashatani, Sisaket, Surin and Buriram provinces, among others which fall in its path. A woman in Thailand who is no more than 20 weeks into her pregnancy will be able to seek a legal abortion under an edict of the Ministry of Public Health, which was published in the Royal Gazette yesterday and will come into force after 30 days. As for the procedures, prior consultation from a medical practitioner must be done first and if a woman who is less than 12 weeks pregnant insists on an abortion, her medical professional will perform the procedure as appropriate. Thailand's Ministry of Education will lift COVID-19 preventive measures in schools which will become effective from October 1st. The measures such as face mask wearing all the time in schools, seat distancing of one to two meters, limits on the number of participants in group activities will cease. Temperature screening before entering school and good air circulation in classrooms will however remain. Myanmar's former beauty queen and anti-junta activist Han Lei, who has been stranded in Thailand due to immigration difficulties, has finally been granted asylum in Canada. Han Lei has been here since last Wednesday, and attempts were reportedly made by Myanmar authorities to have her repatriated, but she was not forcibly sent back. And that's all the top stories for today. You can follow us on social media and our website, thaipbsworld.com, for all the latest updates about Thailand.